Welcome to Evening Prayers. For Saturday, the 25th of July, we're reflecting on the theme of patience. Lord, you are a good God. We thank you that you are a patient God, full of love, ready and willing to forgive. We thank you that you are a God who is patient with us while we are wayward, struggling and lost. Lord, thank you for your forgiveness for us. Help us to be the person that you would have us be, full of the things of your kingdom, hope and love, joy and peace, that we may reflect your ways in the world around us. Lord, you are so patient with us. So often we lag behind your will or race ahead with our own plans. So often we do the right things, but for the wrong reasons, and fail to obey your will. Yet time and again, you search us out and find us. Time again, you forgive us and bring us safely home. Most patient God and loving Saviour, we thank you. Amen. Listen now. Two words from scripture as written by James in his letter to the early church. James chapter 5 verses 7 to 11. Be patient then brothers and sisters until the Lord's coming. See how the farmer waits for the land to yield its valuable crop and how patient he is for the autumn and spring rains. You too be patient and stand firm, because the Lord's coming is near. Don't grumble against each other, brothers and sisters, or you will be judged. The judge is standing at the door. My brothers and sisters, as an example of patience in the face of suffering, take the prophets who spoke in the name of the Lord. As you know, we consider blessed those who have persevered. You've heard of Jacob's perseverance and Job's perseverance and have seen what the Lord finally brought about. For the Lord is full of compassion and mercy. We tend not to think too much about the time when Jesus will return in glory. Yet here St James tells the early church who were considering that any day the Lord might return that the knowledge of Christ's return should be the impetus for the way that we behave. We don't know the day or the hour, we're told in Scripture, so we're told to be patient, but in being patient, living the way of God, and knowing the patience and perseverance of God, to appropriate that in our lives for the good of others. We're told the Lord is full of compassion and mercy, and so we are called to be. So as we listen to this worship song, let's seek the Lord, find his patience to live in us, and ask him to fill us with his compassion and mercy, that we may live out his love. Here I am waiting, abide in me I pray. Here I am. 
us patience as we wait on you, that we may hear your voice and follow your ways. So we offer you our prayers this evening. Let us pray together for the coming of the Kingdom of God, that we may live each day knowing that God is near. Let us be patient, Lord, and teach us your ways. We pray for a more accepting love, so that we may be more patient with those who annoy and irritate us. Lord, be patient with us and teach us your ways. We pray for those whom we irritate and annoy and ask for sensitivity in recognising our own faults and weaknesses. Lord, be patient with us and teach us your ways. We pray for your blessing and anointing on all who need patience in their work. Lord, be patient with us and teach us your ways. And we pray for all on our hearts and minds this evening. For whatever reason they are there, we lift them to God. Lord, through our sufferings, teach us to persevere and put our trust in you. Through any unjust criticisms for doing your will, teach us patient and joyful acceptance as we run the race that is set before us. Let us run with patience, delighting in doing only your will. For all these things we pray in the words which Jesus gave us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord God, be with us as we rest. Fill us with your hope and your peace, that when we rise in the new day, we may rise with the knowledge of your presence and your blessing. And may the blessing of God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, be with you, with all God's people, and with all for whom we have prayed. Amen.